Hey sisters, guess what? I saw booties. speckled pony tumbled out of the sky and knocked her onto the ground. Hey, what's the big idea? Princess Penelope asked. Sorry about that, the fallen pony replied. My name is Stella. I'm a star pony, but I seem to have tumbled out of my constellation. Please, can you help me find my way back? Of course I will, Princess Penelope replied, and I know just who to talk to. Aster, the broken-horned unicorn. She has silvery stars on her side just like you. So the pony set off in search of Aster. When they found her, the ponies explained Stella's plight. I'm sorry, Aster replied, but I don't know how to help you. You'll have to go ask Madame Zenda. Penelope knew Madame Zenda. She was considered the head pony in all of Ponyland because, well, she was a disembodied head. How can I help you? she asked when they arrived. Stella explained her troubles, and Madame Zenda nodded wisely. Ah, yes, I have heard of such happenings in the past, but alas, I do not know how to help you. You must visit the island of the Singing Sirens. They will guide you on your way. So the ponies headed to the island of the Singing Sirens. As they traveled, they noticed the clouds looming larger and more threatening in the sky. Then suddenly, it began to snow. The ponies shivered in the storm, but pressed on. And finally, they heard the singing of the sirens. When they reached the island, they asked the sirens how Stella could get back into the sky, but they didn't know how to help her either. Go ask Tex, they advised. She is the smartest cowpoke in the West. Maybe she knows what you need to do. That's all the time we have for the moment, so you're just going to have to wait to find out how the story ends next time. And sisters, I hope you don't mind, but since this is kind of a to-be-continued video, I'm going to give you my best and worst of the week next time, too. 